The next award is for special achievement for visual effects. And to present it, a man who is a special visual effect himself, a wild and crazy guy, Steve Martin. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm Steve Martin. I'm here to present the award for special visual effects. <laughs> um, I think you can tell by my expression that it was kind of a compromise for me to come down here tonight because I was nominated last year in the category of best live action short. And when I lost that award, I made a vow never to show my face around here again. <laughs> so this is kind of the compromise deal. Um, ah, I'm back. Okay. The Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects in Superman goes to Dennis Koop, Roy Field, Derek Meddings, Colin Chilvers, Zoran Parasic, and Les Bowie. One apiece. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my colleagues and myself, I'd like to thank the Board of Governors of the Academy for these magnificent awards. Um, sadly, our other associate, Liz Bowie, recently passed away. It's a great loss to us and to the industry. We'd like to thank our producer, uh, Richard Donner, our friend and director, and particularly our British crews, who, without whose support we wouldn't be here this evening. And finally, a thank you to Margot Kidder and Christopher Reeve. What a superman. Thank you. Thank you. I'm kind of glad we changed our mind about having Steve Martin give the award to Lord Olivier. In case you're wondering, and many people don't know this, how Superman met Lois Lane, never been divulged, but he was getting undressed in a phone booth when he saw scribbled on the wall, call Lois for a super night. <laughs> and here tonight is Superman Chris Reeve and his favorite girl reporter, Margot Kidder. There sure were some incredible special effects in Superman, weren't there? Yeah, but wait a minute, Margaret. You know, not everything in the film was a trick. Chris, it was just a movie, Chris. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Excuse me. Aha! The winner is... Way uh, to go, guys. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris. Do you, do you mind if we read the nominees first with that Oh, we got to read. Oh, sorry. If you insist. Okay, now for an outstanding achievement in sound, the nominees this year are Tex Rudloff, Joel Fine, Curly Thurwell, and Willie Burton for the Buddy Holly story. John K. Wilkinson, Robert W. Glass, Jr., and John T. Wrights for Days of Heaven, remaining credits in controversy. Richard Portman, William McCoffey, Aaron Rochin, and Darren Knight for the Deer Hunter. Robert Knudsen, Robert T. Glass, Jack McDougall, and Jack Solomon for Hooper. Gordon McCallum, Graham Hartstone, Nicholas from Missourier, and Roy Charman for a super, super something. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is, the winners are, Richard Portman, William McCauley, Aaron Rochin, and Darren Knight for the Deer, the Deer Hunter. Hunter. time coming, I have to thank Michael Cimino, who I love, a fine group of technicians at Metro Golden Mayor Studios, 
and the, uh, uh, just uh, a wonderful business to be in. It's the honor of my life. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Pardon me. A special thanks to Michael Cimino, James J. Klinger, Frank Real, and many, many fine technicians, and to the Academy. Thank you. I would also like to thank Michael Cimino for his creative suggestions and inspiration during the mix of the Deer Hunter. I'd like to thank the MGM sound and projection personnel for all their help. And I'd like to thank all the members of the Academy for making my greatest aspiration a reality. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Michael Cimino and uh, Don Bolger and my wife for staying with me in the jungles of Thailand to shoot this picture. And uh, all the members of the Academy, thank you all very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.